everyone welcome back to my video my name is christiana okore i'm a lagos based youtuber and i put out educative content and content that i'm really passionate about so if you're just coming across my channel for the first time do all to subscribe to this channel like this video and also share to people you feel would learn from this video so again i have come with valuable and educative content for those in their 20s somebody put out a content and the title was things i learned in my 20s so i pick up some points that i feel like i should come to share on the, my channel so we'll be going through those that person's points and see if we can relate to one or two of those points so yeah i've put down the point on my notes so i'll be looking down from time to time so i don't skip any of those points yeah so number one is commit to personal goals and yeah i agree to these points is that the fact that we need to commit to our personal goals our 20s should be the year should be the time in our life that we need to put in every work to put in every work to um commit personal growth every work that will lead to our personal growth financial growth and physical and health growth so this is something we should all relate it with we should do things that would make us grow financially get us go mentally physically and health wise so the next point is measure your relationship by quality and not quantity yeah when choosing friends i don't believe in having plenty of friends i'm not one that make plenty of friends i either just make one friend in a time in my life in my secondary school i had only one friend throughout my university I had only one friend my nyc had only one friend throughout so i'm not a fan of having so many friends so i believe in quality and not quantity so when making friends make friends with people that will add value to your life and not just remove the little value you have in your life so make friends with people that will not make you um shift your focus on things you're supposed to do so yeah i really really resonate with that point the next point is seeking help is not a sign of weakness yeah i relate to this because i find it that ask for help so since this is a lesson that that person learns, so we just need to learn how to speak out when we are in need, speak out when we are struggling with things, when you are struggling with your career, with your health, with anything that you feel you should speak out. So, speaking out or seeking for help is not a weakness. Our next point is live your life and stop seeking for people's approval. A lot of people are living their life seeking for approvals from strangers online. So people are just doing things that they would naturally not want to do just because people like this. Because just because it's in trend, just because it's in vogue and they want to belong to a certain type of people. So we should always live our life not to people's approval, not to um you should stop skin for people's approval when living your life so the next point is it never gets easier you get better when you uh, at the time of life difficulties might come hardship might come it's not as you um reach the point of life the higher points the higher you go you meet difficulties you meet higher difficulties you just have to get better it doesn't get easier you have to get better you get better so the next point is nothing worth having comes easy so you need to put in the work if you're looking for a good job you need to put in the work and if you're looking for admission you need to put in the work read and pass your exam so not every anything that is worth having does not come easy you need to put in the work and i feel everyone should uh, relate to this so the next point that person stated is getting up early is a life changer so uh we should try to wake up early that's what it's saying that we should not sleep away at mornings i think in the morning everybody gets you know we have this more energy in the morning so if you wake up early to read to do your work waking up early is a life changer and i think we should incorporate it in our daily lifestyles as 
people in our 20s as people that are currently in their 20s so, so the next point that i stated here is emotions alone will not take you anywhere so i think we should um have when taking decision we should put emotions aside and think with our head don't get led don't get pushed by your emotion do things that are right don't take decisions when you are angry don't take decisions when you are too happy make sure you take decisions when your head is on a level on a good level a normal level not when you're too excited or when you're too angry so the next point this person stated is you won't find too many people at your struggling phase that moment when you're struggling that moment where you're passing through difficulties you might not get so many people around you so you should learn to like push ahead alone you should not get discouraged when you don't see people around you supporting you or encouraging you when you're passing through difficulties many people only associate with success so try to get their success so the next point is value the people you have in your life so um whatever person that is standing like staying with you during your struggling phase so the person that is staying with you and doing your difficulties value that person born bridges always um reach out to people value the people that are standing by you so i've come to the end of this part one of um 10 most important things you should learn in your 20s important lessons you learn in your 20s so i'll be dropping a part two of this in the next video so if you find this so educative don't forget to subscribe share this with people around you drop a comment on which of these points you resonate with and which of these points you're going to be adding to your lifestyle see you in my next video guys